You have always been one of my most sensitive children. But it is tiring, is it not? I do not blame you for putting on armor lately. The necessity imposed on us to remain cavalier about the one thing in life that holds genuine meaning. Do you not find it lonely? How are you? <laughs> I'm well. <laughs> Surprisingly well. Colin Lord Debney has shown an interest in me. With the kind of fortune he possesses, he can afford to be as singular as he wants. Your lessons worked. Mr. Bridgerton. I wish very much for your happiness. That you might miss the fruits of your labors. I hear Penelope may be getting a proposal tonight. She'll see you soon. Tonight? That was rather quick. Colin, likely because of your help. Could I ask you something? Of course. I think Penelope is quite fortunate to have you as a friend. You believe the best foundation for great love was friendship. Are you all right? <laughs> Never better. It is rare to begin as friends and for both parties to then film more. And how did you and Father know it was reciprocated? Because he gathered the courage to ask. I said I would help you find a husband, but I cannot stand by and watch you make a mistake. The only mistake was me ever asking for your help in the first place. It is said that the heart is forever making the head its fool. Since when are you worried about Penelope? Penelope. I have spent so long... Help me! Now! ...trying to feel less. These past few weeks have been full of confounding feelings. A feeling that is like torture. Feelings like dreaming of you when I'm asleep, and in fact, preferring sleep because that is where I might find you. Feelings like a total inability to stop thinking about you. Call me a friend. It is laughable to think as much. We are friends. Nothing more. Forgive me. Um, I do not know what I was thinking. But would you like it to be more? Colin, I'd very much like to be more than friends. So much more. Could the carriage driver not keep on driving? 